Let's analyze the draw between Sevilla and Real Madrid. Diego Alonso's team in a 4-4-2 out of possession, facing Ancelotti's 4-2-3-1 with Chouameni and Cross in the double pivot. Sevilla's high press didn't work, a legacy from the Mendilibar era with too much distance between the lines, allowing several Madrid players to receive a mark. Most of the game was played with Sevilla in a mid-block with the defensive line very high, Real Madrid looking to attack the space with long balls like this pass in one of the best chances of the game. When Sevilla had possession, they played in a 4-3-3 with Sumare, So and Rakitic constantly swapping positions and Real Madrid in a 4-4-2 whose weakness was the left side defended by Bellingham, allowing Sevilla to progress easily. The inaccuracies in the first half preventing them from reaching the final third more frequently. This was Sevilla's best chance. So running into the box, poor defense by Chouameni, Ocampos attracts Salaba, leaving a space for So to receive and finish. In the second half, the main problem for both teams was defending the box. In this play, Real Madrid has numerical superiority inside through B2 to finish the cross. Ancelotti brought on Camavinga and Modric, but the substitutions didn't work. Sevilla began to have more possession and Real Madrid had to defend closer to their box. Sevilla's goal was a deflection by Alaba scoring an own goal, although the main mistake is that no one jumps to block the cross, with Acuña having a lot of time to make the best decision. Real Madrid's equalizer from a set piece. Carvajal at the near post, three players defending the zone, but none of them prevent the right back from scoring with a great header. Real Madrid had better chances throughout the game, but in the final minutes, Sevilla had the ones to win with plays like this in which Sevilla overloaded the box, having superiority, but in the end, the game ended in a draw.